Published, 614 EDT, April 12, 2018, Updated, 1502 EDT, April 12, 2018 An army sergeant accused of killing his wife by sabotaging her parachute asked his ex to christen his spouse's new car by having sex in it, a court heard today. Emil Silliers, 38, of Aldershot, Hampshire, allegedly sent messages to an escort asking how much unprotected sex would be with her and if he could film it. Just before, he had sent a message to his ex-wife Carly to arrange to meet her for sex in his new car, which the prosecutor said was actually Victoria Silliers' vehicle. Emil Silliers, left, 38, of the Royal Army Physical Training Corps, allegedly tried to kill Victoria Silliers, 40, with a gas leak and later on a parachute jump over Easter 2015 Michael Bose QC, prosecuting, said, on March 13, 2015, there is contact with an escort and a defendant is in touch with Carly Silliers, he is arranging to have sex. In a message to Carly, the defendant says you can see the new car, we can take it for a spin, maybe christen it. He is then in touch with a prostitute in relation to sex with her. He says to the escort, bear back for 100 pounds, can I film it? She replies yes apostrophe. Bear back is a widely known term for no form of protection. Now, there is nothing wrong with going to prostitutes, but it is indicative of a man who just does what he wants. When he wants. He has his life in compartments and it is all about him. We have his relationship with Victoria. He is telling Stephanie he loves her, and he has sex arranged with Carly and then unprotected sex arranged with a prostitute. We say here's a man who cared not for Victoria, he treated her with contempt. He did not care about her in any way at all. In other messages, read to Winchester Crown Court. It was heard Silliers had been messaging lover Stephanie Galler as his wife went into labor, telling her he loved her. He also claimed his newborn son was not his, lying to Miss Galler, who he met in Austria saying only a few people knew about it. Silliers had two affairs including with extreme sports enthusiast Stephanie Galler, pictured, and had also contacted a number of prostitutes before allegedly trying to kill his wife. Mr. Bose QC told the court Silliers had damaged a gas fitting at the home he shared with Victoria, deliberately loosening a nut and leaving traces of blood behind. The prosecutor said Victoria became concerned when she smelled gas in their kitchen and she sent him a message. Silliers had also been having an affair with his ex-wife Carly Silliers at the time, the court heard reading her message to the court. Mr. Bose QC said, Victoria said to the defendant did you alter the gas lever into the cooker the same and there is dry blood around the lever, sick. The defendant replied to her, that is weird. Is the stove working? She answered, no, I did not want to try. I've opened the door. She then said to him, jokingly, are you trying to kill me? The defendant replies to that saying, hey you cannot be serious about the comment you made, you have been saying that a lot recently, why? She says to him, I read in a mag recently, brought it to the front of my mind, true life stories, my husband tried to kill me apostrophe dot he said seriously? And she said back was only making a joke because of the blood in the handle, did not realize I was saying it a lot. Mr. Bose QC added that the blood in the gas fitting had been matched to his after being tested, Silliers allegedly damaged the gas fitting at the home he shared with his wife in a bid to cause an explosion and kill her, when this failed, it is claimed her removed vital links from his wife's reserve parachute, which should have connected it to the harness she was wearing as she performed a skydive. Silliers, pictured with Victoria, who still serves in the army, is said to have had debts and wanted to get his hands on her £120,000 life insurance. The prosecution has said when the parachute failed, Victoria, 40, spun 4,000 feet helplessly to the ground, suffering a broken leg, ribs, pelvis and spinal injuries, spending three weeks in hospital. Hospital. Judge Mr. Justice Sweeney began today's hearing by telling jurors Silliers had already stood trial once, with no verdicts being returned by the original jury. Mr. Bose QC then told jurors at Silliers' retrial that the South African had rocked up debts of £22,000 and had started an affair with Austrian Ms. Galler. The court heard the sergeant, of the Royal Army Physical Training Corps, had tried twice to kill his wife a physiotherapist, so he could claim her life insurance money and start a new life with his lover. Mr. Bose QC said Silliers had also been having an affair with his ex-wife Carly Silliers at the time, as well as being in contact with prostitutes before his wife's fall at Netherhaven Airfield on Salisbury Plain, Wiltshire. The prosecutor said, on April 5, 2015, Victoria Silliers, a highly experienced parachutist and parachute instructor, was involved in a near-fatal parachuting fall. When she she jumped out of the plane at 4,000 feet. 
both the main and reserve parachute failed, causing her to spiral to the ground. Those attending the scene expected to find her dead, but, although badly injured, she survived that fall. Those at the scene immediately realized something was seriously wrong with her reserve parachute. Two vital pieces of equipment were missing. The circumstances were such that the police began a criminal investigation into the possibility the defendant, Emil Silliers, had attempted to murder Victoria. Subsequently, the police investigation widened to incorporate circumstances surrounding a gas fitting at their marital home in Amesbury, Wilts. The prosecution case that Emil Silliers had deliberately caused a gas leak just before he left the house to stay elsewhere. Mr. Bose QC said Silliers had been having an affair with Miss Goller at the time of the murder attempts and had even been contacting prostitutes. The prosecutor said, Emil Silliers was having an extramarital relationship with Stephanie Gollard. There are a substantial amount of WhatsApp messages between them. It is clear Emil Silliers was saying repeatedly that he wanted to leave Victoria and be with Stephanie. He was having a sexual relationship with his ex-wife Carly Silliers and he was also making contact with a number of prostitutes. We will be going into intimate detail about his life which would usually be no one else's business. He is not on trial for having an affair or for visiting prostitutes, that is his business, but I tell you these things so you can understand the background. The prosecutor said Silliers had an insurance policy which would pay him £120,000 on the event of Victoria, now aged 42, dying. He said, Emil Silliers had his own insurance policy which covered Victoria as well in the event of accidental death. The defendant believed he would receive the £120,000 on the event of her death. He had debts of around £22,000 at the time. Silliers denies two counts of attempted murder and one of damaging property being reckless as to the endangerment of life. The trial, which is due to last five weeks, continues. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this.